opened in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Both teams emerging from the Ford Field tunnels just a short time ago. And, of course, the loudest cheers were reserved for the hometown Lions. They're set to go as they will match up with the New Orleans Saints. Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. And we are underway from Ford Field. It's a run for Camara. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Now, this defense for the Lions, they were very good a week ago in that win over Minnesota. Yeah, and what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down, and they're playing with extreme confidence. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. And now the Lions going to stop us momentarily as they call a the timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. They'll drop to throw. Looking left side, and it's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for them picking up the first down. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. Great footwork, but still wrangled down before reaching the 20. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. 
and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. You used to have a coach who's tell us all the time, those scouting reports aren't just to use up paper, guys. Well, nowadays, you know, we're watching a computer screen, right? They scouted this team very well. Know that they like to use the running backs in the passing game. They covered that play successfully. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. to throw here. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. They'll set up a throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Touchdown, Saints! A great play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Saints take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. Zerline good with a PAT. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. fake here's Franks out to the left there and complete to the tight end Hawkinson and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27 a gain of two brings up second and eight Franks escaping the pressure right on the run he'll let this go deep right side and this is caught right along the sideline what a job of keeping the toes in bounds there a big play there for detroit in our pregame meeting all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside and he just showed it right there pretty good arm too On first down, here's Franks. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. It'll be a loss of 10, and it'll bring up second. Now Franks. He's got his tight end over the middle, T.J. Hawkinson. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. And it's Franks now from the shotgun. He's going to air one out. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. And the first play will be a field goal try. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. Rosa's kick is good. And they are on the board. 
but still trailing. It's seven to three. So yes, it's only three, but at least you're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. On play action, they'll throw. Rolling to his right. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. short they'll try and pick it up through the air they'll get this out to Camara, and he is going to have a saints first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two another catch for him there on this drive brandon and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can and that time they pick up a first down so now on defense do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throw left side complete. That's Morgan finding some room at midfield. And finally taken down at the 34. A big connection on that one. 30 yards. They went with the ever popular RPO on that play. And what they often tell their receivers, as soon as you get the ball, You've got to be like a punt return. You've got to make the first guy miss on your own because if you do, big plays like that can result. He went a long way before they caught him. They go play action here on first down. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. You mentioned very early on the need to establish a running game for this young QB. They really haven't been able to do that, though, in the first half. So that means what in halftime? Adjustments, Adjustments time, right? Figure out what they are. Figure out the things that they really want to accomplish and who to run behind. Which are your better blockers? Find those guys and get in that direction. Second down, and it's Kamara again. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. A nice run there. Eight yards moves him much closer to the goal line now for third down. This offense so far on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're looking at a third and goal here.
Kamara will score. Touchdown, New Orleans. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. offense ready to kick off their next drive and tough to win games if you're going field goal field goal field goal here they got field goal last time now they'll be looking for a touchdown they're looking for the big chunk now because as you noted oh well, that's him you'll see it and it's intercepted Dante Jackson picks it and the Saints are going to take over here up near the 40 A good starting spot for the Saints as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. The Lions now good. Use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. This offense, thankful, I'm sure, to have the football back, but also, Charles, after a long drive of their own, they've got to be a little weary. Yeah, I would agree with that, and what you have to do to combat it, try and get fresh legs in where you can, especially to skill positions. And then for the offensive line, instead of attacking, maybe slow the tempo down a little bit, let them catch their breath. Now flags will come in. And I think this is against the Saints up front. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. A give. This is Camara. And not much running room. Down to the 32. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Eluding the pressure right. 
And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. He finds his man complete. It's Morgan. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards, the pick up there. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Second down, Kamara. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. He scored touchdowns on drives 1 and 2, and now they're trying to make it a perfect 3-for-3 three three to start. Another shot from the 9 on second and goal. the ground Camara and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage so they're coming up here on the ninth play of the drive and it's third and goal here's a play fake as they set up to throw toward the end zone but that's gonna wind up incomplete they really had a good drive going there but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense an unexpected fourth down here Zerline's kick is up and through. And they will stretch the lead now to 17 to 3. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. Fields this way up at the 17. And up to about the 26 yard line, just across the 25. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Saints out on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. First down throw, here's Franks. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Franks now to throw on first down. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A handoff, Swift running to the left. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. Now let's check on the call. That's on the guard, Alex Kappa. Franks looking to throw into heavy traffic. 
pick, and it's intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And the Saints are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. The first half did not go their way, and that's not going to help matters at all. An interception here on the opening drive of the third quarter. Obviously not what they were striving to accomplish, but you know who's really upset on their team? The defense. Already trailing, they're going to be counted on to try and hold that score at least where it is. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Second and eight. They run it again with Kamara. And this time, he's able to take it down to the 42. 57 yards rushing for him here as he starts to close in now on 1,200 yards for the season. And the Saints first down. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. He'll drop to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game. Instead, they're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Here's second and ten. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. 20! And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. He's going to get four out of this as he's down to the 10-yard line. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. They'll run it with Kamara. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, his second touchdown of the game, 17th on the year. And the Saints now add six to their lead. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Lions three. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. 
And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. So second and ten now here in the third quarter from Detroit. Working out of the gun, Franks. Oliver, the tight end, making the catch. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. They'll try and run here with Swift. And shedding a man at the 40. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 12 yards. That's good. For the Lions, just now. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. On first and 10, Franks. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off at the 47. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. Sirline connects on the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch, a single four, and take it. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they gave up the pick six, and now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful, because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. Franks now. He's going to let this one go deep. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Back to you. They'll look to throw again. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Mike 20, Mike 20, Mike 20. I got wide, I got wide. Ultra, no ultra. Watch the whip. Franks will throw for it on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Lions turned away on fourth down, and the Saints will have the football back. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Let's go. 
We find ourselves here in the midst of a one-sided affair. A lot of a lot of fill time down the stretch, Mr. Davis. So we could talk about food because that is something that you and I we, both we, enjoy. We share we, that. We enjoy our time at the table. So maybe the best steakhouses in the city, but in all seriousness, the performances that we've seen this year, we've seen a bunch of great ones. And it's going to be hard to parse who's going to win the MVP. Yeah, it really uh, is. Is it going to be a runner? Is it going to be a thrower? Can a defender finally win it this season? Those are the things that we could probably... The got his man complete! Touchdown! Michael Thomas, 85 yards. And the Saints look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And their four-game win streak very much in jeopardy as they go to work here late with a first and ten. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. First and ten at the 45-yard line. On first and ten. Franks, right side, it's the tight end, Hawkinson. And he'll be down at the 46. So they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. From the gun, Franks. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Toney. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 29-yard line. Back to throw again. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. DeAndre Swift. Touchdown number 18 on the year. And the Lions are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. PAT up and good by Rosas. And that'll cut the lead down a bit to 28. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. The outcome of this one... Well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window dressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, a broadcaster? Well, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won every game as a no, player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. <laughs> and no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that, you know, a team put 70. I actually saw it happen twice. A team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season... I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good before now was dominating and kicking around a team who had been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck, right? As the, as the analyst, you got to fill that time. You've got to know what's going on out there and how it all happened. Well, obviously, that begs the question. What game was it? That was Seattle hosting Los Angeles, the Rams. Ah, yeah. Their second meeting of the season, and the Rams turned it around from the first one and blew out the Seahawks. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. 
And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. A Camaro with a carry there on first down as he works his way forward for a pickup of four. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. There comes the Saints punter now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. And last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And the Lions will take over. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And they go play action with Franks. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Frank's throw there, taken in by Dorsett. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So this one, a victory here for New Orleans. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together got a spark, and then took off. 